Hello everyone. In our video lecture series based on electronics, we are studying junction diodes. It is a topic, a common topic in electronics paper. And in the previous video, we discussed PN junction diode. This video is for current and voltage sources. By name, you can easily understand that current source is a source which would provide current and voltage source is that source which provides voltage. Here is the definition for source. Source is a device which converts mechanical, chemical, thermal or some other form of energy into electrical energy because we make use of current and voltage sources in our electrical circuit. And why do we use them? Because we want electrical energy. We want to run our appliances. So, the word use is source for all those devices. We can also say that source is an active network element meant for generating electrical energy. So, as the name suggests, this would provide you everything, whatever is required for generating electrical energy in the entire circuit. And then on the other hand, we have load. Load is something which would use that electrical energy provided by source. So, source is providing the energy and load is using or consuming that electrical energy. So, we say load is the electrical component or that portion of the network which consumes electrical power. You can say that this load could be your appliances, all the switches, appliances, whatever run in, in the circuit. They all make up the load. Generally, we represent this load as a resistor most of the time. Because what is the role of resistor? It opposes the flow of current. Or in other words, we can say that it actually consumes a lot of power, lot of electrical power. That's why you will see in all the diagrams, we will represent load by a resistor. Why? Because resistor ka kaam kya hai? It actually restricts the flow of current or we can say ki wo jo bhi source se energy aari hai wo usko absorb karta hai kaafi had tak consume kar leta hai okay aur isi karan jo current flow hai that is affected simply source provides you the electrical energy and load consumes that electrical energy now various type of sources are available so, we are discussing two types, voltage source and current source. Voltage source has a forcing function of EMF. So, वहाँ पर जो potential difference है, that would actually act as the forcing function. Potential difference develop होगा, only then वो voltage source आपको provide करेगी whatever electrical energy is required. Because all the flow of charges that is governed by either voltage source or current source. Voltage source may other potential difference generate hoga ya EMF aega, which we know ki if there is a battery, there are two terminals that we talk of positive terminal and negative terminal. So par a concentration as well as potential gradient hota hai, dono side pe. Positive terminal may excess of positive charges only, negative terminal may excess of negative charges, or we can say excess of electrons are present near negative terminal. So, due to this difference, a potential difference is set up which actually results in flow of current. So, both voltage source provide current after. And in case of current source, the forcing function is that of current because, as the name suggests, Current source will simply provide you the current. And we further categorize them as ideal source or practical source. Ideal, as the name suggests, where there are no losses and which is working with 100% efficiency. And practical, which actually happens in real life. In real life applications, we have practical sources, where losses bhi hai. Jahan par efficiency complete nahi milti, 
जहां पर ड्रॉप भी होता है वोल्टेज का ठीक है आइडियल सोर्स में ये सब चीजें नहीं होती तो वी ऑलवेज टॉक ऑफ कि वट वुड बी दी आइडियल कंडीशन एंड वट डू वी एक्चुअली ऑब्जर्व इन रियल लाइफ सो द टू मेन कंटेंट्स आर वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड करंट सोर्स एंड हेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी दैट we have source so source can be of two type voltage source and current source voltage source again divided into two types ideal voltage source and practical voltage source so ideal so ideal hi hai this is something we always strive for hum chahte hain ki hamara voltage source ideal source ki tarah act kare but it never happens and practical voltage source is that which we actually experience and the same goes for this current source ideal current source which we idealize but it is never there and practical current source which we are fun observe in real life applications let's talk about voltage source so voltage source is a two terminal device obviously there would be two terminal one positive and negative whose voltage at any instant of time is constant and is independent of the current drawn from it this is voltage source so it has nothing to do with the current whatever current is drawn from it and its value the value of the voltage remains constant all the time so you can say that this is a fixed voltage source or it's a voltage source which has fixed value and such a voltage source is called an ideal voltage source something which is not changing with time agar time ke sath voltage pe कोई भी इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ रहा दैट मीन्स वोल्टेज इज स्टेइंग एज सच फॉर नो मैटर हाउ लॉन्ग द टाइम इज तो वो केस आइडियली हो सकता है एंड दैट वुड हैव जीरो इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस अगर उसकी अपनी इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस नहीं है ओनली देन इट इज पॉसिबल दैट इट्स वैल्यू वुड रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट ऑल द टाइम अदरवाइज क्या होता है विद टाइम इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस जनरेट हो जाती है हर अप्लायंस हर सोर्स की अपनी एक इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस विद टाइम जनरेट हो जाती है मे बी इन द बिगिनिंग वी कैंट फाइंड देर इज नो सिग्निफिकेंट इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस बट विद टाइम ड्यू टू वियर एंड टीयर एंड मेनी फैक्टर्स आर देयर दैट इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप्स एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज इट इज इंटरनल टू दैट पर्टिकुलर सोर्स That we are talking of. हर appliance की अपनी एक resistance होती है लेकिन एक हर एक circuit की अपनी एक internal resistance भी develop हो जाती है So same way में voltage source की भी with time internal resistance develop हो सकती है But if we are talking of ideal voltage source, so in that case there would be no internal resistance. And practically this is not possible. What we have what we experience in daily life are the practical voltage sources which have some amount of internal resistance and due to this internal resistance what would happen voltage drop would take place and it causes the terminal voltage to reduce now what is this terminal voltage terminal voltage is the voltage across the load since we have practical voltage source so there is some sort of internal resistance and what does it internal resistance do it reduces the voltage so voltage drop takes place and the terminal voltage also reduces in case of ideal voltage source terminal voltage remains the same kyunki kahin pe bhi voltage loss nahi ho raha hai voltage drop nahi ho rahi because there is no internal resistance so jo source pe voltage hai wohi aapko load pe bhi milegi but agar voltage drop ho raha hai तो जो टर्मिनल वोल्टेज है यानी अक्रॉस द लोड जो आप वोल्टेज डिटेक्ट करोगे दैट वुड बी लेस देन द वोल्टेज ऑफ द सोर्स एंड स्मॉलर द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस मोर क्लोजर योर सोर्स वुड बी टू आइडियल सोर्स बिकॉज इफ इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस वुड बी स्मॉल और वुड बी नेग्लिजिबल ऑब्वियसली वोल्टेज ड्रॉप वुड ऑल्सो बी नेग्लिजिबल एंड देन देर वुड बी नेग्लिजिबल ड्रॉप in the terminal voltage so more or less the voltage source would behave like ideal source so everything depends on internal resistance whether the source has internal resistance or not if it has then how much is the internal resistance 
and now you can see the symbolic representation ideal we can show them by this uh, cell symbol you know we represent cell like this there is positive terminal with longer line and negative terminal with shorter line and for practical voltage source we use this circle and we simply denote the positive and negative sign on the on both sides then we have two types of voltage source dc voltage source and ac voltage source what is dc voltage source which provides direct voltage output continuously to the load connected across it and ac voltage source provides alternating voltage output continuously to the load connected across it examples are voltage cell and dc generator for it dc voltage source and ac generator oscillator etc for ac voltage source so in general voltage source is a device which provide voltage output continuously to the load connected across it so if you have dc voltage source you would say it provide dc voltage output continuously to the load connected across it and if you have ac voltage source you would say that it is a device which provide alternating voltage output continuously to the load connected across here in this figure you can see that we have used this circle to represent voltage source that means this is practical voltage source and these two points at these two nodes a and b the voltage is vab so if you go for a graph for ideal voltage source with time so you can see that you get a horizontal line which tells us that the voltage remain constant with time no matter how your current changes or time changes as time is increasing or even the current is increasing but the value of voltage is not changing so that's why we have got exact and perfect horizontal line so this is the graph for ideal voltage source then here you can see we have drawn a circuit and this is the representation of ideal voltage source because we represent ideal voltage source by this battery symbol this rl this is load resistance because we have source on one side and load on the other side so we represent that whatever energy this load is going to be consumed so that would come out in terms of load resistance so this is load resistance now you have connected the battery there is positive terminal so of course current would start flowing from positive terminal and circuit is closed and complete so it will follow a clockwise path okay here also this ri is internal resistance so if we talk of practical voltage source then this ri comes into action अगर हम पर्टिकुलरली आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स की बात करते हैं इन दैट केस इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस या तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं होती या एक्सट्रीमली नेग्लिजिबल होती है ठीक है हम उसे कंसिडर नहीं करते बट द मोमेंट वी कंसिडर इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट एंड दैट टेल्स अस दैट आर वोल्टेज सोर्स इज ए प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड नॉट एन आइडियल वन सो इवन इफ यहाँ पर हमने बैटरी का सिंबल यूज किया it is just for simplification otherwise hum is cheez ko replace kar sakte hain with a circle so let me do that all right so i have made circles to represent practical voltage source don't confuse in many textbooks you will find that a practical voltage source is represented by a battery symbol so that is okay the moment you see internal resistance mentioned that means we are talking of practical voltage source बिकॉज इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आती ही वहां जब हम प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स यूज करते हैं एंड दिस इज द डेफिनेशन द डी सी वोल्टेज सोर्स इज अ डिवाइस विच प्रोवाइड डायरेक्ट वोल्टेज आउटपुट कंटिन्यूसली टू द लोड कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस इट एंड वन मोर थिंग बिकॉज ये डी सी वोल्टेज सोर्स है तो इसकी पोलैरिटी सेम रहेगी सो सेम पोलैरिटी ऑफ द आउटपुट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस लोड यहाँ पर पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव सो सेम यू विल गेट एट द लोड so whatever voltage source is there if internal resistance is also there so kuch na kuch drop zarur aayega there would be voltage drop and 
टर्मिनल वोल्टेज पे भी कुछ ड्रॉप होगा सो द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू लोअर रेजिस्टेंस आर एन सो अल्टीमेटली वी वॉन्ट टू नो वट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस आर एल लोअर रेजिस्टेंस और वट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ करंट दैट इज मूविंग और फ्लोइंग थ्रू द लोड सो दैट इज गिवन बाय V0 upon RL plus RI. Current का वैसे भी फॉर्मूला क्या होता है वोल्टेज अपॉन रेजिस्टेंस सो वोल्टेज यहाँ पर क्या है इट्स दोर्स वोल्टेज सोर्स विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई वी नॉट एंड रेजिस्टेंस ऑफकोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू एड अप द रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज आप देख सकते हैं दिस इज ए सीरीज सर्किट कोई पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन तो नहीं है इसमें दिस इज सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन सो वट एवर रेजिस्टेंस आर देर हेयर as you can see we have represented the internal resistance of voltage source as a resistor yahan par humne alag se ek resistor bana diya and we have denoted it as ri but you can see that this resistor they are connected in series so this is a series combination so series combination mein resistors they are added resistance jo hoti hai that is added in series combination of resistor so the total resistance would be RL plus RI, so this will be current. Current find कर लिया. Now we want to know what is the voltage across the load resistance. Voltage across load resistance that can be calculated by V naught minus I RI. हमें अब resistance जो load resistance है उसके across voltage देखना है. RL के across. And we know that this voltage source has its own internal resistance as well which we have denoted by ri so if we want to find voltage across rl to wo kya hogi agar ye ideal source hota to v not hi hoti voltage across rl but since this is not an ideal source this is a practical voltage source definitely there is some drop to wo drop ko hum subtract kar denge to v not to original hogi isme se agar hum voltage across आर आई को सब्रैक्ट कर दें तो बाकी की जो बची है दैट वुड बी वोल्टेज अक्रॉस आर एल इट इज सिंपल वोल्टेज का क्या फॉर्मूला होता है वी नो वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू शो द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस और वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस दिस इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस वी कैन शो इट बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग आई विद आर आई बिकॉज आई इज द करंट विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड सो दिस इज वी नॉट माइनस आई आर आई what we can do is if we cross multiply these two this gives us that v not is i r l plus i r i we can substitute this i r l plus i r i in place of v not because this was the original voltage source and when we found current we got this thing so this is i r l plus I R I minus I R I. So these two will get cancelled, and we have I R L as our voltage across load resistance. So it's very easy. That means whatever current is there, if we are able to find the current, suppose we attach a meter here, and we can actually find what is the current in the circuit, and we know that in a series circuit. current remains the same so it means in the entire circuit current will be the same so if by using a meter we can find current then we can directly use that current and we can multiply it with the load resistance to find the voltage across the load so it's very easy either way thus what we have done here it is for practical voltage source it has internal resistance so that's why to find the voltage across load we have to subtract that internal resistance factor so jo bhi voltage drop internal resistance ke around aata hai wo subtract karna padega to baki ka jo bhi voltage hogi that would be the voltage across the load because ye voltage source de to ultimately load ko hi rahi hai sari energy and here you can see that we have a graph for practical source so practical source ke case mein you can see that as time increases or as current increases current bhi agar increase karta hai to heat generate hoti hai right and if heat is generated that means resistance would increase so 
so ultimately internal resistance would increase so as time increases maybe with time internal resistance would develop or we know that if current is flowing so flow of current ultimately results in generation of heat and definitely resistance of the entire circuit would increase and also of the voltage source so that's why what will happen due to this internal resistance jo voltage across load honi chahiye thi wo nahi milegi so wo vav thi original value of voltage source but that would decrease with time so aapko ye downward jo hai slope dikh raha hai and we call this voltage as terminal voltage voltage across load is known as terminal voltage so this is about direct voltage source where the voltage is dc and because of dc the polarity would remain same next is to discuss ac voltage source ac voltage source is a device which provides alternating voltage output so now you know what is ac alternating right so positive half cycle then negative half cycle then positive half cycle and negative half cycle and so on so that alternating voltage output would be there across the load so this device provides alternating voltage output continuously to the load connected across it but since the voltage is alternating so the signs would change or or we should say that polarity would change so the polarity of output voltage provided by ac voltage source reverses periodically positive half cycle ke liye there would be different sign then negative half cycle mein signs jo hain they would reverse so we say that polarity reverses here for this ac voltage source in this diagram you can see voltage source alternating so we have used the symbol to represent the alternating voltage source current is flowing now here the only difference is that we use the word impedance instead of resistance resistance term is used when dc voltages or dc currents are involved and when we use ac voltages or ac current then we make use of the word impedance although resistance and impedance mean one and the same thing so here this zl is load impedance here this particular diagram you can relate it with that of ideal voltage source ideal ac voltage source because we have not shown any internal resistance here but now i just mentioned that when we talk of ac voltages or current we use the word impedance instead of resistance so this particular case now the diagram on the right hand side this represents the circuit diagram for practical ac voltage source because here we have indicated the internal impedance so and impedance is denoted by letter z resistance by r impedance by z you must have studied about impedance in your 11th or maybe 12th class so same concept is here so this is internal impedance so only the terminology has changed but everything else is same again here this is load impedance same thing is happening but now we know that the voltage source is ac voltage source so when the current will flow in the circuit it will keep on changing direction periodically because as the cycle of ac voltage would change so the current would change its direction so obviously the polarity would change and the opposition offered to the flow of ac current by ac voltage source is called internal impedance so here the current flowing is also ac current because ac voltage source we have used previously the current involved here was dc current because we used dc voltage source okay so this is something which is already clear 
that's why i have mentioned here that resistance offered by dc voltage source to the flow of current is known as internal resistance ri and the opposition because we don't use word resistance so that's why i have not written resistance here in fact we have used the word opposition offer to the flow of alternating current by ac voltage source is called internal impedance denoted by zi now the current flowing through the circuit well the formula will remain the same so current is equal to voltage upon resistance or we can say impedance so voltage is v not upon the impedance which is zl plus zi load impedance and internal impedance and again we know by cross multiplying v not is i zl plus i z i again we want to find the voltage across the load impedance again in practical voltage source there would be voltage drop kyunki internal impedance hai to agar humne load ke across voltage find karni hai to ye jo internal impedance ya jo keh lo ki voltage drop across z i hai ya keh lo कि इंटरनल इंपीडेंस के कारण जो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप होगा वो हमें सब्ट्रैक्ट करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज वो तो ड्रॉप होगी वोल्टेज अब जो बचे ही है वोल्टेज दैट वुड बी ट्रांसफर टू जेड एल सो इन दिस केस वी कैन राइट डाउन कि वी नॉट जो कि ओरिजिनल वोल्टेज थी माइनस आई जेड आई बिकॉज वोल्टेज क्या होती है करंट इन impedance or current into resistance so that's why we have multiplied current i with the internal impedance zi and now we can substitute the value to ye ban gaya i zl plus i zi minus i zi that means i zl this is voltage across load impedance ab agar ye ideal voltage source hota in that case internal impedance would have been zero ideal case mein internal resistance chahe wo dc voltage source hai wo zero hoti hai aur agar ac voltage source hai even in that case the internal impedance is zero so in that particular case voltage across load is always the same voltage jo v not hoti hai wohi across the voltage uh, across the load available hoti hai so when internal resistance or internal impedance of a voltage source is zero then such voltage source is known as ideal voltage source and the same amount of voltage v not is available across the load so this is all about voltage source we have discussed dc voltage source and ac voltage source now let's discuss current source current source again it can be ideal or practical ideal current source is two terminal circuit element which supplies same current to any load resistance connected across its term so ideal current source jo initial value hai us current source ki wahi wo load resistance ke across dega the current supplied by current source is independent of voltage jaise ek voltage source mein it wasn't depending on how much current is drawn from it similarly current source does not depend on how much voltage is there ac across the terminals and it has infinite resistance in practical current source is represented as ideal current source connected with resistance in parallel aur wo kaun si resistance hogi internal resistance because practical current source mein internal resistance definitely hogi लेकिन द डिफरेंस इज कि जब हम करंट सोर्स की बात करते हैं तो बाकी के जो कनेक्शन हैं जो भी रेजिस्टेंस इन्वॉल्व हैं वो आप देखोगे कि वो पैरल कनेक्शन है सोर्स के साथ हेयर जेड आई इज पैरल कनेक्टेड विद आई नॉट विच इज आर करंट सोर्स वेर एज इन डीसी सोर्स वी हैड दिस internal impedance connected in series with voltage source pehle bhi jab hamare paas ri internal resistance tha in fact here you can see that was connected in series so jab voltage source aata hai 
तो जो भी रेजिस्टेंस इन्वॉल्व होती है वो सीरीज में कनेक्ट होती है और जब करंट सोर्स आता है तो जो आपकी इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस है हम उसे पैरलली कनेक्टेड शो करते हैं सो so, ये डिफरेंस हो गया और पैरल कनेक्शन में वोल्टेज सेम रहती है तो so, इसीलिए हम कह रहे हैं कि अब यहाँ पे चांसेस ये हैं कि अगर तो आइडियल करंट सोर्स है देन द करंट वुड रिमेन सेम सेम वैल्यू वुड बी ऑप्टेन अक्रॉस जेडल बट इफ इट इज नॉट आइडियल वन देन डेफिनेटली देर विल बी सम ड्रॉप इन करंट ठीक है बट अब यहाँ वोल्टेज की कोई बात नहीं हो रही so then we'll say that the voltage is going to stay same it will stay calm, constant tabhi humne yahan parallel combination show kiya because parallel combination mein voltage remains the same series combination mein current remains the same so it's just ki humne us according apna setup choose kiya so current source is a device which supplies current to the load connected to it and A current source which supplies constant current to the load that is known as ideal one, but ideal current source is just not possible. Here you can see two graphs. Ideal current source के लिए ideal current source क्या करता है? Same ही current provide करता है all the time. So throughout the time, same current would be there. So no matter if time increases or no matter if voltage is changing, but the current provided by current source would remain same so that's why for ideal current source we have obtained horizontal line in the graph whereas in practical current source again the factor of that internal resistance or internal impedance would come and the current provided will not be the same there will be some drop in the value of current provided across the load so that's why you can see that with increase in time or with change in voltage we are getting a downward slope now we have to find current through load impedance of current ke liye we want voltage upon resistance ya yeah, impedance ab yahan voltage ka to koi role hi nahi hai because we are saying ki whatever voltage is there first of all jo bhi current move kar raha hai or the current that will be available through low bit impedance that will not depend on the voltage whatever voltage is there in the circuit so voltage ka koi role hi nahi hai and plus since we have used the parallel combination to represent the internal impedance so waise hi voltage ka role khatam ho jata hai because we say ki parallel combination mein voltage remains same so wo factor agar aayega bhi that would just get cancelled out so ab hum is value ko voltage ke term mein represent nahi karenge We'll mention it in terms of current only. अब हमारे पास जो original current source है उसकी value है I नॉट ठीक है And जेड is the internal impedance. दी इंटरनल इम्पीडेंस तो अब जो हमने वोल्टेज देखनी है जो करंट सोर्स के अराउंड है क्योंकि वोल्टेज अगर डेवेलप होगी दैट विल बी ओनली अराउंड दी करंट सोर्स तो दैट वोल्टेज एक्चुअली डिपेंड ऑन दी इंटरनल इम्पीडेंस एज वेल बिकॉज ये करंट सोर्स की अपनी ही इंपीडेंस है इंटरनल इंपीडेंस तभी तो कहा है इंटरनल वर्ड एंड वोल्टेज इस सोर्स के आसपास ही जनरेट होएगी। सो वट एवर वोल्टेज इज देयर दैट विल सिंपली डिपेंड ऑन द करंट सोर्स आई नॉट वैल्यू एंड द इंटरनल इंपीडेंस और वोल्टेज क्या होती है वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर हेयर आर इज जेड आई सो फॉर वी वी कैन राइट डाउन आई नॉट जेड आई and in the denominator we want resistance or impedance so wo impedance kya hogi that would be the these two impedances here in the denominator we can simply write down z i plus z l now since z i is there in the numerator also so i not z i and here in the denominator we will take z i common so this is 1 plus z l upon z i so these two will get cancelled and we have i not upon 1 plus z l upon z i further the current through load 
impedance that would be i naught means we are actually trying to find what would be the i that means what would be the current across this load impedance but if we want that this should be the original value of current so for i is equal to i naught zl should be very less than zi this is also the fact ek to humne ye notice kiya ki usually to get the original value jo source pe hai if we want the same value across the load so internal resistance ya internal impedance zero hone chahiye but yahan via calculation hame ek aur cheez pata chali wo ye ki if we want the same value across the load then this load impedance should be very very small than the internal impedance yani fir aapke load ke appliances bhi aise hone chahiye jo zyada impedance offer na kare ya keh lo ki bahut zyada consumption na kare okay because if zl is very small than zi to yahan par ye jo zl upon zi hai that would be something which is smaller than one ek smaller than one value aa jayegi so 0 point something would be there so 1 plus 0 point something will not lead to much change aur fir numerator mein i not hai ye so tab ja kar hamare paas value i not hi hogi so that's why this is another feature that we have obtained mathematically mathematically hame ye pata chala ki load resistance bhi kam hona chahiye internal impedance se to get the value i not across the load so this is all about current source so we have studied both the sources current and voltage source that's all for today thank you mm -hmm.